Well, hey everybody, it's Jeremy J coming at you from my car. Got some groceries tonight, some uh, new foods I'm going to try. And I'm talking tonight about the path that that reveals itself as you just keep on keeping on. My journey has been quite an interesting and challenging one. April 2016 is when everything changed for me and my back started having issues and I ended up having a spinal fusion surgery for that. After that surgery, my neck started having issues and then I started having digestion issues and the combination of trying to still heal from that back surgery and all the things that have happened have led me to where I am today, where I am a combination of Sherlock Holmes and a mad scientist determined to figure out what's going on and conquer this process. And part of it seems to be mental, just mentally going there to to do fun, something fun like going out and getting groceries, as simple as that sounds, or or just digging in as the persistent scientist who wants to understand what's going on with me. Then this morning I met with my dietitian and got some more information about what specifically is causing me problems. Apparently it's maltose and some other very rare sugar that's in foods. And so now I'm going through all the foods that contain those. And I am going to do a new shopping list and exclude those foods because they're irritating my insides. And that's another thing that I'm going to do. And I'm sure as time goes on, I'll learn more or this will be the end of that road. And then I have other roads to go on still regarding my health. But the point is, the journey you all are on, the point I'm getting to is the journey you're all on forces you to be a more conscious human being about life, reality. It forces you to be a student and and to take the, just like the, the diligent student who does homework for hours each day. That's what this journey requires of us is to be that way, to be students, diligent students, not just casual students, but it requires major diligence on our parts as we seek to understand. And now there's a lot of people I listen to who talk about the ascension and symptoms, mentors of mine, and then just casual conversations I have with people. And I take all of that information, tie it together and say, okay, what is real here and uh, that's the process I go through and it's an interesting process. The journey will lead you to many different destinations and things you'll learn about yourself. Take it as an opportunity to learn and grow. The message I learned today from one of my mentors is that this process gives you a chance to sort of gain a level in your life and to act in a way that for who you're becoming requires you to be that kind of a person, that you can no longer be the old you with the old habits if you're going to become the kind of person that this process is molding and sculpting. And I thought that was really interesting. Maybe I'll title this video, Molding and Sculpting Yourself Through Ascension. And that's what it is. Each and every day is this molding and sculpting and uh, trying to have some measure of fun and normalcy as I go through this process. Not just every day trying to just survive, but try and do some fun things when you body can tolerate it. And I felt like I could go out tonight and get some groceries and do that. So that was good. So this is Jeremy J saying, take this as a process, this ascension process as an opportunity to, to learn and grow and use this new you to be more of an expansive human that is more helpful to humanity as a whole and a just higher vibrational. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.